Kia ora Welcome Mahana Korn fans to another episode of Inside Mahana Korn. I'm Kip San Oslo Beck, joining you today from the 11th floor of Mahana Korn Tower. Now we're actually standing atop the slip form technology being used to create the main core and uh, columns of Mahana Korn. And today we're actually going to answer some of the questions that you guys have sent in to us. What exactly is slip form and why can't Thailand's tallest tower be built using the traditional method of bits of timber and uh, temporary moulds. Well the reason why is slip form is a form of extrusion where concrete is poured in and the uh, mould itself, the slip form, gradually slides or slips up the building. So once the concrete is solidified at the bottom, then the uh, slip form gradually moves up in sections at a very slow but continuous rate. Each of these small hydraulic cylinders are actually what enable the slip form to very gradually move up. It's around about two meters from the top of the slip form to the bottom. And so interestingly enough, this technology has a number of benefits and a few issues as well. The benefits being that it requires a relatively small workforce and the workforce do the same job repeatedly day in, day out. It's also much faster than using the Thai traditional techniques, uh, very important for such a tall tower. And this means because the workers do the same job every day, it's more safe for them because the same procedures are followed, but also because slip form itself doesn't require taking the mold apart, putting it back together, taking it apart, putting it back together. It's the same mold that moves around the concrete. It also requires fewer cranes, which is a major benefit for such a tall building. On the flip side though, there are some issues. It requires a lot of forward planning because once it starts, it's very difficult to change the slip form structure. And while Mahanakorn has pixelation, meaning that every floor is different, the core structure is basically fairly uniform all the way up the tower. And so Mahanakorn is an ideal candidate for using slip form technology. There is also the issue in terms of the staff. They do actually need to be very highly trained. Uh, and that's very fortuitous for us because we have Bui Tai who are experts in creating high rise slip form buildings. And it's easy to say that slip form technology is quite slow as we stand up here. But if we actually watch a few seconds of time lapse video shot over the last few months, we can see the rate of construction achieving around about two floors a month. And this will actually speed up over time as the workers get more efficient and as the tower becomes more uniform. As always, for those of you wanting to find out more, please stay tuned at our Facebook page. Or if you're interested in the residences, don't forget to head up our website, rcrbangkok.com. As always, it's a pleasure trying to decipher what engineers and construction workers tell me about slip form into language that I actually can understand. Thanks for joining me once again, and we'll catch you again soon on Inside Mahanakon. So what do you come?